one of the most effective population control tools is education. The more intelligent you are within the confines of white supremacy, we have to say within the confines of white supremacy, because if you're thinking about black nationalism, pan-Africanism, then you're naturally going to think that it makes more intellectual sense to have kids than to not have kids. But if you're constantly trying to survive the slave plantation, the less kids you have, the better. So the more intelligent you are within the confines of white supremacy, the less children you're going to want to have because you realize the less comfortable you'll be on the plantation with the more children you have. So an intelligent woman within the confines of white supremacy is going to say, I don't want to hook up with that dude. He doesn't have enough of the white man's money and resources for me to copulate and have children with that man. Likewise, many men are choosing not to have children because they understand whether they want to admit it or not as much as they are agents of white supremacy, they understand that the system is set up to destroy and kill the black man because the black male represents the biggest natural threat to white supremacy. That's why you have so many black males in prison. And many people are saying that, look, it's a positive thing now that we have more black males in college than in prison. But the white supremacy colleges and universities are psychological prisons. And I know that's going to be very controversial because you've been programmed to believe that the more educated we are, the closer we are to freedom. But I say from a black supremacy perspective, the more educated you are within white supremacy, the more of a slave you are, and the further away from freedom you are. Because the more you invest in white supremacy, the more you have a stake in white supremacy. So the less you want to see white supremacy destroyed. This has been Daku Akabo Wa'akatu.